Parents have recently been hitting the nail on the head with lots of questions about how to help their children stop biting their nails. Well, let me bite into this topic and provide some information for everyone to chew on. Clearly, the nails have been removed from this particular hand. Well, first, nail biting is a common habit, rarely seen before age three, but quite common as children get older. In fact, it's estimated that a third to half of all kids between seven and 10 years of age do it, and that it appears to run in families. The percentage of nail biters does drop as your child gets older, although at least 10% of adults still bite their nails, men far more than women. Second, nail biting in and of itself is rarely harmful, although with persistent biting, the nail bed and the cuticle, the hard skin that surrounds the bottom and sides of the nail, can become injured and predispose your child to a skin infection, but one that is easily treatable. Third, nail biting is not always due to your child being anxious or stressed. Kids may do it simply because they're bored or as an alternative to having recently given up their bottle or blanket, and they still need that inner sense of security, which can be achieved by having something they can gnaw on, in this case, their nails. So what do you do about this problem? My advice is to ignore your child's nail biting as much as you can, and it will probably go away. But if you really want to do something, first figure out what might be stressful, anxiety provoking, or boring your child and try to remedy that. It's a great idea to keep their nails trimmed so as to discourage biting. And if you see the fingers heading towards the mouth, then try distraction or replacing this behavior with another, such as having your child put his or her hands in their pockets or giving them a small ball to squeeze on. Painting the nails with a bitter tasting solution may work in the short run, but when the solution wears off, often the habit returns. A reward system for not biting the nails can work wonders, such as telling your daughter that you will paint her nails with nail polish if she promises not to bite them. Even just praising your child for not biting his or her nails for even one day will go a long way. Perhaps the best cure is peer pressure, since when your child sees that his or her friends are no longer biting their nails, your child will probably stop as well. So to hopefully, Tips like this will nail down the problem of what to do when it comes to knowing more about handling your child's nail biting habit. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to not bite your nails and to always be first with your kids.